Throughout history, there have been composers who were immensely popular during their lifetime. There have also been composers that achieved their greatest popularity after their death. And then there are others, like Arnold Schoenbeck, who wasn't loved by the public during his lifetime and, let's face it, hasn't received any more affection from the general public since his death. And the critics weren't any kinder to him. They likened his music to feeding time at the zoo, a pandemonium of cross-eyed devils, and sharp daggers of white heat slicing away at the audience's flesh. On more than one occasion, fights broke out during Schoenberg's concerts, and one fight led to a court case in which a doctor testified that many members of the audience had shown signs of neurosis as a result of listening to the music. Schoenberg's father passed away when he was only 15 years old. This forced him to quit school and get a job at a bank where he was living in Vienna. When the bank went bankrupt, he got a job conducting a choir of metal workers. Rehearsals took place 12 miles outside of Vienna, and he often had to walk there because he couldn't afford the train fare. When World War I broke out, Schoenberg was called to military duty on two separate occasions, but was eventually discharged because of medical reasons. In 1921, Schoenberg was kicked out of an alpine holiday resort because of his Jewish roots, and from that point on, his Jewish ancestry became more and more of a worry for him, given the political landscape. Even a move to Paris was not enough to calm his fears. During the Second World War, the Nazi regime deemed the music of Schoenbeck dangerous, and they actually banned the sale of his music. Schoenbeck and his family would eventually end up moving to the United States. For Schoenbeck and other composers, the war years were a time of musical crisis, and Schoenbeck was known for admitting that. This was a time when he couldn't work without interruption, and he ended up beginning many pieces that he would never finish. Schoenbeck and his contemporaries lived at a time when the world saw many drastic changes that were hard to swallow. Two world wars, the depression, groundbreaking research into the human psyche, and the rise of industrialization. In 1947, Schoenbeck made a speech in front of the President of the United States and said the following about his experience. Personally, I had the feeling as if I had fallen into an ocean of boiling water, and not knowing how to swim or to get out in another manner, I tried with my legs and arms as best as I could. I do not know what saved me, why I was not drowned or cooked alive. I have perhaps only one merit. I never gave up.